Alright guys, I was gonna talk to you guys about something real quick. I've seen me work out by the way. Check out that video, that video. Banger. A few things, few options, right? Go vote on these as soon as you can. But I posted what kind of die you guys want me to do because we had 10k basically. We had 9.9 something right now. So we just need a hundred more to get a, you know what I'm saying, to get a 10k. So uh, what do you guys want me to do with my hair? Uh, I've asked on Instagram also like what you guys want to see. Uh, now that I'm hitting 10k, you know what I'm saying, big numbers. <laughs> Oh, glory to God. Thank you guys so much for that. So prior to happening Prior to that happening, I want to thank everybody, but I have two options that have been dingling in my mind I don't know if that's the right word, but go vote on those so that I can see what you guys want me to do with my hair I hope you guys enjoyed this video though. This video is a banger transformation for those that that are learning and understanding what cutting is like and you guys to get to know a person that actually is freeforming so make sure you guys go check him out Coney Vision he's actually freeforming so for those that have been hitting me up to freeform and stuff like that you guys can check out his channel and you know grow grow with him together he just began his journey this year so thank you guys for everything go make sure you go vote on the options of my dread color it's two colors that I posted pick one you know I said blue 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 everybody said blue uh, not everybody said blue actually uh, silver and blue has been the ones that are very close I love to you guys so go vote on that so that I can make that decision to dye my hair I'm about to actually go back there and dye my hair right now I'm just kidding all right welcome back to another video of Activeverse University today we got a buyer for y'all you know what's going down we chopping homies hair you just hold the bill hair you know yep. what I'm saying but before we get into the video, we do one thing, right? You know what we do? Let me do it. Yeah. <laughs> Intro! Oh. Intro! Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Today we're gonna give this man's a taper, man. He been, uh, been struggling a little bit. Not too bad, man. Not too bad. Team getting to me. Yeah, that quarantine, man. But he's been freeforming for five months. Mm -hmm. Five months now, so check out his channel. Link in the description, Coney Vision. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you check him out, because he updates everybody with his freeform journey, which some people do do that. Also, I've seen some people that do freeform, uh, but I don't think it's cool as his, because he got like a, he got like an instant lock in front of his, uh, front of his hair. That makes it a little bit more like, you know, different than others. Whenever you see somebody to describe to, if I'm telling y'all, like, you know what I'm saying? Just blow it up. You feel me? Like, <laughs> diverse family. Big time. Diverse universe, actually. That's bigger. Yo. To start off, you're just going to use your trimmers to get the first, first, first line. And it's called uh, the ball line. And this will help you basically navigate where the other lines uh, is gonna be at also. With the guard open uh, zero, you will uh, you will start knocking out the second. Not knock. Yeah, you can start knocking down basically the second line, and you work your way up. Uh, some people do work their way down, but right here, what I'm doing is after I open it up and work all the way to the next inch or half an inch, I come down by closing the guards and opening the guards and uh, flicking up to get the second line going on, which will make the blend effect also. Right here, I added my number one guard and I'm op I am opened it and I'm going, working all the way up. Uh, not too much because he wanted a taper, a very, very low, small, like very, very small taper, so. And I did forget to put, <laughs> man, this was like five in the morning. This dude came to get a cut at five in the morning, so I did forget to put a cap on him. But right here, you can you see me like work my way uh, a little bit up higher and higher, but not getting into his freeform locks because uh, 
you don't want to give him a whole blend effect in his freeform so you just want to keep it as low as possible so that it can look very neat and still look like a freeform dreadlocks I'm not really lining them up right now, but I am actually just giving him a kind of like a, a shape, like a shape up on the side so I can later on come back and kind of see what it's looking like. But I'd like to do this because I want to see how good the blend is. And also, as you guys can see, I kept the dark, the corners dark so that I can get a crispy lineup. And later on, I'm going to hit it with a razor and more blade time also. So this is another technique that I use to get a pretty crispy lineup and also make sure that the fade is pretty crispy or the taper is pretty crispy. back hair you use the same methods but uh, of course you have more hair this time but you want to keep the taper as low as possible so you want to use as much hair on the bottom of his hair or his bottom of his neck uh, so that you don't work all the way up to where you start getting into his freeform lock so I kept it as low as possible and the end result will show you how low I kept it but right here I uh, I'm going with the zero open and flicking up because flicking up is the best method to use to get a pretty crispy fade and also having a brush knuckle comb or a knuckle brush or a comb will work out taking out making sure that the hair is not cur uh, curling up and you know getting uneven I'm making sure that like I said I'm not hitting too much and I'm working like I'm detailing as I go uh, forward so that I can get a pretty crispy lineup later on right here you can see i added the second guard uh, or the guard number two so that i can kind of a little bit get the bulk a little bit from where it needs to blend back down to the bottom of the fade uh, like i said i didn't get into his main lock which is right up there uh, you guys see where his lock kind of starts at and so i didn't really hit much I cleaned them up, I shaped them up, and I always keep my corners dark on any taper that I do in the back or on the side. It's very key that you brush uh, or you comb because if you're trying to cut somebody and they have their hair all coiled up, curling up, you're not going to get a crispy length or a crispy, not a crispy, but yeah, a crispy fade because you're going to have different lengths. You guys can see that uh, I have put uh, clips on him so that I don't hit his main uh, freeform and kind of like prevents me from going higher also but right here I'm going with the two and making sure that the length of his uh, hair is fading in from the taper that I just gave him uh, he don't really have much locks on the side so I kind of took out some uh, bulks out because it was just getting a little wild and it doesn't look good for the taper even if I give him a crispy taper if it is too much bulk going on in the in the transition it won't look good but right here i'm using the same method that i use on the other side to make sure that i am where i need to be at in my fade uh, and usually a fade is hard to see till you actually line it up
to prevent yourself from pushing anybody's hairline back, you want to make sure that first you see the hairline where it used to be at. And also that, um, I don't know if I got the footage of it, but I combed it down, I think right there. Uh, I combed it down to make sure that I am going to get his baby hairs in the front and not his actual hair, which will cause me going back and hitting more hair than, than usual. So I always make sure that I comb the baby hair down and I stick the comb or a hair clips in his hair so that I can separate my hair lines from the regular hair. always want to hear your client uh, you want to listen you want to get their perspective on what they want to do as for their mustache and stuff like that for him he just wanted to trim it down and get it lined up he wanted to keep his beard uh, growing um, it has made a lot of progression from past times that I've cut him but uh, I just left it alone because he wanted it like that and like I said you always want to listen to your clients the clients are always correct they're always right and right here, what I'm doing is uh, making the crispy lineups on the side, just using dry method, uh, just with a hot towel. And that's about it. And hot towel actually makes the skin pretty smooth for you to glide and making sure that whenever you do this, you're stretching the skin. If you never used the blade before, please don't use it just by watching this video because this video don't go into detail how I use it. Find a video that I've done or somebody has done in the previous times to get hard to use this type of razor blade because it's pretty dangerous if you don't know what you're doing to be honest i'm not trying to scare you but i'm trying to kind of give you warning and wisdom you know Hey YouTube, who says that? Jeezy. Uh, right here is actually like, it's a freeform dreadlocks, right? So it's not a whole haircut video or anything like that. And so what you will see is the tapers and that's about it. The tapers and lineup, and that's about it. If you look at the whole overall hair and everything, it may not look like a much of a haircut, but it's a freeform locks. All right, thank you guys for watching this video. You wanna say anything, bro? Get off to sleep. Get off to sleep, guys. It's like five. 
six now. It's like three to one of y'all. <laughs> but hey, thank you for enjoying this video. Check out the previous video. But till next time, keep acting the verse and creating your universe. I'm out.